Do you want to drink more water? Water is an amazing substance and we don't even understand everything about it. It can be a solid, it can be a liquid, and it can be a gas. Sure, we can measure it and analyze it, but do we really understand it? And we, in this kind of body, are made mostly of it. Back when I lived in Arizona, I was visiting my friend Joe up near Sedona. And we decided we were going to go into town. And as we were coming up on a bridge to cross a creek, we got stopped. And we weren't able to go into town. Later that afternoon, we had planned to go to Montezuma as well. And it was blazing hot, the middle of the summer well over 110 degrees and we looked at each other and thought well let's go out to the well now we could put our feet in the cool aqueduct behind it and sit in the shade and enjoy the sound of oak creek over there so we turned the car around and we headed out to montezuma as well when we got there we parked the car and walked across the hot desert sweating, trudging, until we reached the cool shade of the woods and the aqueduct. As soon as we got there, we sat down on the banks and put our feet in and just listened to the sound of the water. It's so magical in the desert. After a little while, we decided we would go down to where the water came magically out of the wall of the well. I had a tree that I always liked to lean on and Joe had one that she liked also. So we found our places on our trees and just went into a meditative state for a while. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a Japanese businessman appeared in a suit carrying coolers and a, a, a suitcase of some sort and he looked at us and he motioned for us to stay still. We looked at each other from across the way and kind of dumbfounded and shrugged and we stayed put. He spread out a red cloth and magical tools something that looked like a scabbard and a chalice. And he set up an altar. He then took one of the coolers and he went into the cave where the water came out from the other side of the well. And he filled it with water. And then he went over to where the land met Oak Creek. And he gathered water from there in another cooler and he mixed them in the chalice and he picked up his knife in the air and he encanted some sort of magic. He just sat and watched and took it all in. It was so mystical. The ceremony went on and then he cleaned everything up and put it all away. And we felt like, okay, this must be time for us to go. And he motioned again for us to stop. And he talked to us and he explained that he was doing a ceremony on his way up to the mountains in Flagstaff and that he was meeting with chiefs from different tribes and that they were going to do a water blessing ceremony and that it was so important that we had been there with him. Water is such a gift. It's so important for us to get enough of it every day, not just by drinking, but bathing too, because your skin drinks even more than the inside of your body does. If you want to drink more water, get a bigger glass.